Muhammad Ali was the best boxer the world ever saw. If you had any doubts, just ask him. I'm 22 years old. I must be the greatest. Born Cassius Clay, the young fighter burst onto the world boxing scene in 1964 by knocking out heavyweight champ Sonny Liston. The day after winning that fight, Clay stunned the world. He was joining the Nation of Islam and changing his name to Muhammad Ali. Muhammad means worthy of all praises, and Ali means most high. People that had praised him suddenly turned against Ali. And all this before he refused to go to Vietnam. Ali said Nation of Islam was a pacifist organization, and he couldn't fight. Draft is another thing that's against my religious beliefs. Outrage ensued. Ali was convicted as a draft dodger. He avoided jail, but was stripped of his title and barred from boxing. In 1970, the Supreme Court overturned his conviction. At last, he could box again. In this stretch of his career, Ali fought three of the most famous boxing matches ever. Two were with Joe Frazier, including the gorilla in Manila. There was, of course, the rumble in the jungle against George Foreman. In 1978, Ali lost his title. His health was beginning to deteriorate. The next year, though, he took it back, becoming the first fighter to win the heavyweight title three separate times. In 1981, at the age of 40, Ali hung up the gloves. The following year, he was diagnosed with Parkinson's disease. 20 years after his last fight, Ali remained the symbol of the champion. Peter Armstrong, CBC News, Toronto.